most uh, concrete example I've seen of leadership in the practice that made a significant difference and really changed an organization, uh, again, wasn't really a public relations person by title, but was somebody who knew the power of public relations. And that would be uh, Dr. Robert Kayat from the University of Mississippi. Uh, Dr. Kayat came to Ole Miss in 1996. Uh, the first thing he did was hire a, a national public relations firm to gauge what the, uh, well, what the opinions were on the University of Mississippi. Uh, and then he took those opinions and he took what he knew instinctively and what he had learned and he did things that uh, that people thought would get him fired or worse killed. I mean one of the one of the first things he did was say that we're gonna get rid of the rebel flag as a symbol for this university. Uh, now he did it in some unique ways which shows great leadership. He didn't say that, uh, and back then you could go to an Ole Miss football game and watch it on TV and you would see rebel flags being waved every third seat in a stand, somebody had one. And so what he said is, you can't bring any sticks of any sort with a point on them into this stadium ever again. And you can't bring any material that's bigger than a 10 by 12 surface. So you can't bring umbrellas, you can't bring a corn dog stick, and also flagpoles fit in that. And so he pretty much, without saying so, kind of legislated to where there was no way. It's pretty hard to wave a flag if you don't have a stick to wave it with. Uh, and he got death threats. He got people that said that he was destroying the university. Now he had graduated from the university. He had been uh, the dean of the law school. He had been a football star. He had played for uh, the Washington Redskins as a place kicker. Uh, so he all, all already had skin in the game and he already had people who believed that he had the university's, uh, that he had what was best for the university at every decision he was making. So he did have that traction to start with. Uh, but then the next thing he did was get rid of Colonel Reb, which was the official unofficial mascot, which was a uh, what looked like a plantation owner with a cane walking around in a seersucker suit. Uh, all the bad images you would ever think about the South all wrapped up into one. And you put a, flag, a rebel flag in his hand and, and you've got a, a recipe for uh, all the images that are stuck in people's minds about Ole Miss. And so he got rid of those. Uh, he became a benevolent dictator when it came to some issues that other people told him were sacred and he couldn't touch. And the change he affected by doing that was, you know, when he started as chancellor, there was an enrollment of 10,000 and it was falling. Uh, when he left 14 years later, it was over 20,000 students enrolled. Went from a few million dollars in an endowment to over $775 million. And the crowning achievement that we were involved in at my agency was when he lured the very first presidential debate between Barack Obama and John McCain to come to the campus of the University of Mississippi. And, and what a moment to have the first true contender for president, African-American contender for president, to be on campus for the very first debate of that series. And I think the biggest testament to what happened and the culmination, because he retired shortly after that, but the culmination of all his work uh, to me was wrapped up in, in a PR person's dream. Uh, our agency spent 18 months working on that event because Dr. Kayat saw what public relations meant. In the end, we garnered over $33 million worth of earned media for the University of Mississippi. But the one question that Tom Brokaw was given at the end of the debate was who won tonight? You heard the debate, did Barack Obama or John McCain win this debate? Uh, Tom Brokaw said, nobody made a mistake. It was basically stump speeches said in a different way. There was nothing revealing here. But if you ask me who won tonight, the University of Mississippi was the real winner of this debate. Because for the first time that we've seen them in 50 years since we saw 
police dogs and billy clubs and fire hoses. For the first time in 50 years since the cameras of the nation were turned back on to Oxford, Mississippi, we see what's changed and what's different. And so if you ask me, the University of Mississippi is the real winner. Well, as a public relations person, you want to go say, well, okay, I retire. That's the best thing anybody could ever say and I'm done. Uh, but that was the culmination of 14 years of hard decisions that Dr. Kyatt made that brought it to that and has now made it one of the most vibrant. It's on the top 25 list of Forbes. It was named the most beautiful campus, the most beautiful people. Uh, but all that became, came because of some hard decisions that other people said don't do.